In this video, I'm going to take you to one of the craziest markets in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And look at this. Oh my god, this is crazy. There's a little smell. I, <laughs> I'm very respectful, but there's like a hint of what the fuck. Oh. Yeah, this is one thing that is like, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about. Yo, I don't know what this is, but I'm getting it. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, well. This tastes like KFC. This video went so different than I thought. What is good to the YouTube family? We are in Cambodia, Pen on Pen, and today I found a market a couple days ago. I don't know what video it is, but a couple days ago, I ran across this crazy market over here by where I live at, and I feel like this should be a dedicated video. This place is huge. It got live food, freaking fish jumping around. It is crazy. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We are about to head over to this market now, and believe me, it's gonna shock you. While we walk over here to the market, I just want you guys to see, this is amazing. All these people out here come out here every single day, and there's hundreds of people that come here every night. Right now, it's basically like midday, and I'ma be honest, this is probably the hottest part of the damn day. It is literally scorching hot, but I need to go to this market to show you guys in the daytime. And look, you can even come on to the side of the damn road and get your hair cut done. You can get everything you want out here. It's absolutely crazy. And look, while I was walking last time, look at this. You see how this is the road right over here, right? You can see how this looks. Guys, what the heck? Like, do you see how gorgeous that looks? All gold, I don't know if it's real gold or not, but it looks amazing. And it's like right here on the side of this road and just next to all this food. Yo, if you come over here around like eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night, when I'm telling you, you gotta fight for a seat. You, in every single section, you gotta fight for a damn seat. We're really close to the market now, so let's get to it. There is a lot, a lot of shoe stands around here. I realized that you could literally find shoes all around here. You could fix your bike, get your shoes done, get some food. All in one section, <laughs> all in one section. All right, I think I just found where it's at. Oh my God, you guys are in for a treat. Yeah, I better smash that like button because they're about to start staring. But watch, look at what you can get over here. I'm sorry. What are these? I have no idea, but I see these a lot over here. This section over here, you're getting all your clothes. I want. I don't know if I should get clothes here because a lot of these people just have like laid out on the floor. I don't know if they're like used or whatnot, but they, you can buy your socks. Yeah, you can buy shorts. A lot of kid clothes, a lot of kid clothes. And I'm realizing over here, a lot of these people just buy all their fruits from these type of markets because the amount of fruits that they have over here is crazy. Look, as you can see, all fruit stands. All fruit, what is this? Oh, wow. So you see, all fruits, all fruits, all vegetables. That everybody gets it from these type of markets here. I don't, I don't, I see like big seas and stuff like that, but they're, they're like, big c minis they're not like real grocery stores and stuff like that oh my god like those are some quail eggs i think it's called or something god, look at this. and the crazy thing is i don't know if y'all can see i'll zoom in yo there's more that goes inside i'm not gonna go inside those but yeah that is crazy. there's people walking through there so there has to be stuff going on over there as well Yo, the amount of meat that's just like hanging. Oh. And I'm not gonna lie. There's a little smell. I, <laughs> I'm very respectful. 
but there's like a hint though. What the fuck? Yeah, you could, you could definitely, you could smell the fish, you could smell all that through here right now. Just be lucky you're not smelling it through the camera, guys. Just be lucky, <laughs> cause it's crazy. Oh, look at this. Early in the morning, bro, these people set up like at five, six o'clock in the morning. Look at this. They, they be out here all damn day. And look, there's more over here, but not too much. Look at this. Oh, man. I look like the biggest tourist out here. Man, look at this. Yeah. These people have been out here since literally early in the damn morning. Early in the morning, there was definitely more people, I think, because it's like, it's right now, I think like three, four o'clock right now. Not much people, but literally this place be having people all over this, these floors here. Just so much. And like the fish is abundant out here. The fish is absolutely abundant. You can get a crazy amount of fish out here. Oh my God, this is crazy. Comment down below, have you guys ever been to Cambodia? Would you guys buy something from this market? Let me know in the comments. Oh, this is like a culture shock for me. Big, big culture shock. Like just so much clothes as well. Mm. Like what is he selling? What is he selling? Oh my god, I almost lost it. These, I don't know how these people are driving through this. What is, <laughs> is that their ice cream truck? <laughs> They doing massages out here too. I wish I knew what market this is, guys, but I really don't know what the hell the name of this market is. Oh, look at the fish. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh. Yeah, this is one thing that is like, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about. I don't want to say nothing, man, but it's, yeah, that's, it's, it's a lot of this around. And you see these people just throw it up here. And one thing y'all wouldn't really realize, the amount of times I've done seen stuff like that, and you would see like some expensive ass cars, like some Rolls Royce, like some really, really expensive cars next to these garbage situations. And I'm like, how the hell does this work? I don't know, but it works. I don't know. I can't say nothing. It's not my country. I'm just blessed that I'm here and they allowed me to record my videos. Nobody has been complaining. Nobody, everybody stares at me, but I'm a guy with a damn camera. So <laughs> what else can you expect? Let's see. Yo, you know what? I've seen that a couple times and I want to try it. I want to try it. I think it's like a sugar cane drink. I think it's called the sugar cane drink. We need to try this. I heard this is really good. We're gonna try this out. How you doing? Is this sugar cane drink? Can I get one? How much? One dollar? Small, two thousand Big, four thousand. I take the small one. Two thousand. Oh, so it comes out to two thousand real? Okay. And just like that, I got my sugar cane drink, and he just pulls off. Like, it's amazing. Bro. Oh, man. Oh, snap. What the hell was that? Okay. We're going to give it a real reaction. Let's see how this damn thing tastes. All right, let's give it a good taste. Right here next to the garbage. Love it. Bro, this just tastes like lemonade. Wow. Oh, that's good. 
This just tastes like damn lemonade. Yo, you know what? We about to start buying some street food. Let's see what the hell they got to offer out here. What y'all selling? What y'all selling? Oh, I guess this is the sugar cane area. What? Oh, so this is coming through here. That makes so much damn sense. And as you can see, look, all the damn fruits. All the fruits. I'm looking for some food now. You know, I'm just literally gonna start. If I see an interesting cart, you're gonna get my business today. Look, and they laughing. I don't know if you see, they literally stamming hard. I love it. Me personally, I've noticed when it came to a lot of these markets and stuff like that, they set up very early and they honestly stay out all day until they sell out. So my recommendation, if you're gonna try to go to any of these markets or if you're gonna try to buy any food, if you want it fresh, you need to go in the morning. Early in the morning, like I said, I was out here when I got breakfast and it was scorching hot though. It's gonna be extremely hot when you come, but all the stuff is fresh. They're out there for not even 20, 30 minutes. Right now it's damn well four o'clock so yeah do that with your own risk but the the food looks fresh but a lot of the stuff isn't kicking like it was in the morning so yeah that, it, do it on your own risk and let me know in the comments because i've heard that supposedly you're not supposed to be drinking their water or something like that but i've been drinking a lot of the iced coffees and now i'm drinking like a ice um sugarcane drink and technically the ice is their water i don't have any stomach problems yet you know oh god please help me but yeah let me know in the comments if you're not supposed to be drinking their ice and stuff like that because i am if y'all go to thailand and y'all come over here the massage ladies are aggressive bro they be screaming from a half a mile away bro hey come here they want <laughs> yeah they be wildin oh what is this oh nah yeah that's what i'm saying some of these foods are kind of scary to eat kind of scary to eat what do they got over here oh this looks actually pretty good we might try these people out right here Man. This stand right here, five star. Might try them out. All right, so we just got three chicken wings, I think. I don't know where I could set this up. Can't set this up nowhere. We're gonna have to eat it right here in the street. And <laughs> this came out to 12,000 real. I don't know how much that is. I, oh, no, that's $3, $3, ooh. Mmm. This thing got some, some KFC. I swear, this tastes like KFC. So look at it. This KFC? I swear this shit like KFC. It's crazy. Like popcorn chicken, if y'all know, the popcorn chicken from KFC, it tastes just like that. Oh. Oh, we gotta try this. How you doing, man? What is this? Rice. Rice? How much for one? 1,000. 1, Let me try one. I tried one. But we're gonna give you a real example and a real taste test of this. Look at it, let me show you first, let me show you. This is what the hell it is. I don't know what it is. I'm just, like I said, just going around trying to try stuff, but let's give it a taste. See if this is actually good for the attitude. Oh, snap. Wait a minute. Yo. Yo, it's so hard to do this shit with one hand. Sorry, guys. Good luck. Do you see that? They got like spinach, spinach or something in there. It's not that bad. Wow. 
I swear, I would have bought another one, but with the other two, nah. Nah. You don't deserve, you don't deserve my money. Sorry about that. Oh, oh, good meal. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Wow. When I'm telling you, I just burned my whole mouth. Oh, wow. That was crazy. I didn't think it was that hot. Damn. But it was good. For a thousand real, that was 25 cents. Now you can't beat that. I'm learning that everybody calls vlogger, vlogger. <laughs> Literally, that's, that's everybody that stands by. They be talking in their language and all I can hear is vlogger. And then I look, yeah, they're speaking about me. <laughs> Literally. I also want to show y'all I've been out of Cambodia for about three to four days. I want to teach you one thing, that if you hear this out here in Cambodia, run. My friend, if you hear anybody scream, my friend, they are not your friend, they're trying to take your money. And all these tuk-tuks, my friend, brother, I don't even know you, what you mean I'm your friend? Nah, they trying to gas you. When you hear my friend, run. Yo, I don't know what this is, but I'm getting it. Look at this. Oh my God. What is this? Baguette. Can I get one? How much? One, two dollar. One dollar? Two. What is this? Oh, this looks so cool. You have to do it. No spicy. Okay. Yeah. I don't think she cares. Yeah. Look at this. I think she just said, it's spicy. You better deal with it. You better deal with it. Here it is. Two that bone. Let's get it right from the street. Oh, I'm excited right now. This is literally turned into a street. I'll go on, I'll go on. Thank you. Okay. I'm going, I'm going. Let's get it. Let's try to set it up real quick. I'm about to sit down somewhere. Hopefully this ain't spicy. Oh, I'm excited. Where can I sit? All right, we need to find a spot. When I find a spot, we're going to get back in. All right, hopefully you guys can see me. This is the only spot and the only angle I could get. But yo, shorty hooked it up. Look at this. Look at this. Can y'all see it? Let me make sure. Let me make sure y'all get a good view. Let's try this out. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm just so confused. What's in this? Wait a minute. She is on to something. Oh, yo, I swear to God. 10 out of 10. Oh, the bread so toasty. Mm. Oh my. For a dollar. I swear to God, I don't know what she put in this, but for some reason, this reminds me, like there's a flavor in this. I don't know what it is, but it reminds me of when my mom did those um oven, oh, what's it called? It was the, um, the yams with the marshmallows and she used to put it in the um the sweet potatoes with the um cinnamon with the marshmallows you put it in the oven and it's like toasted so i don't know why mm, it's like this feeling right here oh, 
that girl's on to something. And I also want to tell you, everybody out here is dollar hungry. These chicken wings are a dollar out here everywhere you go. But in Thailand, this right here was like 10, 20 baht. Big difference in price, but it's good. Why got to be a dollar? And y'all know, I keep it real on this page. I don't be doing this for the views or none of that. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Cambodia's food is a lot more expensive than Thailand. Literally in Thailand, you can eat all day breakfast, lunch, and dinner for like maybe 400 baht. That comes out to like maybe 10 bucks. Out here, you're getting meals for like 350, 450, five dollars. Yeah, and they all have U.S. prices. So yeah, it's a it's a big difference. It is still affordable. I'm not saying that it's not affordable. I'm paying for my where I'm staying at right now. I'm paying nine ninety dollars a week. Literally, that comes out to like three hundred and something dollars a month. They're dirt cheap for rent, but the food, bro. If you go into a restaurant, five dollars, six dollars minimum, U.S. dollars. And if you see my Thailand videos, literally, I used to get meals all like chicken rice noodles all this for like maybe 150 baht big difference in price this right here is one dollar by itself the three chickens that i bought were three dollars that other um little uh sandwich that i ate was another dollar then the drink that i just got was another dollar literally and that little um that little rice thing was a 25 cents literally that that's just on like snacking stuff if you're gonna go to a restaurant or like uh, one of these little stops you're gonna be paying a decent amount so don't think that is dirt cheap for food it might just be this lady's lucky day as you can see i'm just sitting here this lady just pulled up i got room for just one more thing one more thing and i'm hoping it's sweet like maybe something sweet so i'm hoping she sells something sweet but let's go check what she got let's see if we gonna hook up how you doing? Hi. Oh, is this the waffle? Let me, how much? How much? Yeah. How much? Yeah. For one, how much? I want one, let me get one. I don't know if you understood, but yeah, I don't care how much it is. I, I, I've seen this before and I heard these waffles are busting. All right, so now the price was 1,000 real. So that's 25 cents and I'm so excited to try this. Ooh. Oh, it's so damn hot. Oh, this is so hot. Let's try it. Why does this taste like coconut? Yo. Yo. I'm not even joking with y'all. This waffle has to be made with coconut. There is, they cannot be nowhere in hell this is not coconut. Oh, yo, it looks like a damn waffle, but it's a coconut. 10 out of 10. Oh my God. This video went so different than I thought. Oh my God, I'm so stuffed. I don't know how much I spend. I think I spend I don't know, maybe $4, $5 for all that food. 100% worth it. Uh, we gonna end the video here. We gonna walk home. Yo, I am so stuffed. Y'all don't even understand. Yo, look, look at this. I just cannot get over this. Look at this, bro. This is crazy. This is, I love it. I've said it multiple times. Get your ass out of the United States and get out of your comfort zone. A person from Brooklyn, New York has changed his life and is literally traveling the world. So when people make excuses, if I can do this, y'all could do this. I'm not no special breed, no special person. I've been struggling my whole life. It's called believing in yourself and taking a damn risk. But if you guys are always scared, Keep on staying in the same situation you've been in your whole entire life and hope and pray God just magically gives you a, a, a miracle, you know what I mean? So 
Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and also go to the description. You guys can see all my social media, all the ways that I make money. I help people make money anywhere around the world. So go check it out. I'll see you guys on the next one.